saw some, some like a missile or something shiny up there. That yet. Right, the game gives you a bunch of these just to test it out. Wave beam, yes. I mean, there's an area over here that needed the wave beam, uh, I think. Here, there it is, yes. Hello, goodbye. So it makes it easier, easier to kill them. So I'm still immune to that. I believe yet. I believe plasma beams the only thing that actually works on them. Like I said, plasma beams like the last beam you get. <laughs> They were already here, and I, just, and I just forgot. Either or. Okay. Uh, we're like up there. Did I miss that one? Please. Yes, I did. Somehow. Recording to lobby. As the Great Poison reaches ever further into the planet, we Chozo begin to feel the gnawing of despair. Before it's too late, we now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple to contain this darkness. At its heart, we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by 12 artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness. We wonder though, even when we are done, will it be too late? And will the power of the temple and the cipher itself prove too Prove strong enough to hold back the poisonous tide that even now swells within the ground, threatening all life. Ah, what's attacking me? Checking this thing looks really fragile. Where's my imagination? Oops. 
Any rock structure seems to have a weak point in its base. Dive guys can use a slash from ceiling to allow you to use the spider rocks, crass, and crass for the other areas. Narrows it down. Oh, that one has a blast shield. That one is way beam door. Not what I wanted to scan. Recording to logbook. 
Shadow Pirates. Pirate forces trained and, and equipped for stealth operations. Group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloaking technology. This gear drains high levels of power, however, forcing them to rely on solely on melee weapons in battle. Use enhanced detection gear when fighting. Oh, Looks to be the way I should be going, so let's not go that way yet. Aha. Okay. You're fine the whole time. Oh, uh, oh save room. Cool. Uh, schematics for Glacier 1 secure zone access. Personnel bound for research area. Um, proceed directly to checkpoint. Schematics for research lab Hydra access. Access research lab Hydra through the purple door to the south. Ah. So we're about to go into the research lab. Cool. Sentient aggressor species is a well training weapon in melee combat. Space pirates wield galvanic accelerator cannons and forearms mounted size in combat. The species seeks to become a dominant force in the galaxy, and technology may help them realize this goal. Ruthless and immoral, the pirates care little for the rest of the, for the cost of their ambition. Only the results matter, and they only and they take these very seriously. <laughs> System secure area to unlock. Still accessible only through space pirate bio imaging impossible to reach. Okay, yeah, we can't jump high enough. I figured as much. So I do have to get up there, purple door, etc. Fairly short area, but we can't get to this one yet until we get power back to that one thing. Gotcha! There's some logs in here. Phazon ore is extremely durable and blast resistant. Although the armor-like qualities of the shell provide ample protection, thermal imaging can be used to detect weak areas in the casing. Improvements must be made to the shell in the event that these weaknesses are found by aggressors. Phazon ore appears to bind through phazon energy. Thermal imaging is required to detect the highest concentration of radioactivity, which serves to bind the stones together. Imaging research is being conducted in the containment vault area of the facility. Project Titan specimen is immobilized in quarantine cave. 
Relocation is recommended due to the increased violent activity. East Quarantine Cave is restricted to blue level security. Authorized personnel will permit entry only after bioscan. There's a ramp. Entrance deactivated. Deactivate. Oh, like that thing right there. Yeah, I'm just looking around, making sure I don't miss anything. Access to research hy hydra. Granted. Hello. Tank operational, but currently empty. Okay, there we go. Recording to logbook. Mining operations have begun near the crater where phase on appears to be most concentrated. Daily phase on yields have increased 44%. Our mining operations become more streamlined, and as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of phase on induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline and reassessment for the refinery operation is re recommended as the material pro proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Specimen 002 euthanized after psychi psychotic episode scheduled for removal. System 102 increased volatility recorded. Brighter awareness indicated even in cold, in cold stasis. Oh, yeah, they're all empty. Let's see. Assessment 43, decreased vital signs, cold dampening appears stable. Specimen life sense normal, pulse at 140%, mass increase of 4%. Phase on infusion within central energy core of Xenome SA at 70% saturation, increased dosage appears viable. 
Most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete, but we continue to res we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Door records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume that the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves, or else finding their way through subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of the latter sort and plug them whenever we can, but it's unlikely that we will ever achieve full ex extermination within our current timetable. Do you know Miss A is undergoing relocation to Lab Hydra? Subjects transfer ordered after a pronounced increase in apparent behavior. Security clearance ADR 13. We have codified the newfound energy sources phase on. A V index mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin expelling phase on to the environment. This material appears to possess the power to mutate organic life forms sufficiently to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising, but with a drug abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon 4 is being finalized. So much logs in here, too. Thesis tanks operating at 40% capacity. Temperature regulations errors have been rectified as of that log. Access to research lab ether limited to uh, team Syra only. For snow bound for a hollow observatory, you must use west elevator. Ice beetle infestation on, I on ice vault region has been 95% exterminated. Reports any sightings to security immediately. Increased acidity levels recorded in phase on amniotic bath. It is likely a side effect of phase on ingestion by test subjects. Mutagen strain 776V shows massive absorption cap uh, capacity influx. Strain replication is now underway. Phase on batch 1734D shows mandible mu mutation across all subjects. Cross infusion with batch 1622G recommended. Xenome behavioral patterns show decreased reflex reflex activity at temperatures below freezing. Warning, do not handle sedated uh, xenomes without proper ice containment equipment. Specimen 70, op optimal absorption mut mutagen has led to unexpected degeneration of internal organs. Cordite casing and column appears weak. Power bombs, I'm guessing. I'm doing so much reading, I almost forgot the controls for a second there. No, not that. Viral pathogens found in several xenomes have been traced to phage on batch 1664Z. Terminate all subjects. Yeah. Tissue samples from stasis tanks must be hand carried to the lab hydro for analysis. Notify security of all material moves. Yeah. DLA decontamination is now required for all personnel working in lab ether. Recording to the logbook. Right. Research outpost Glacier 1 in Fendaran Drifts 
region of Talon Forest Mountains is operating at 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid sluggish and easy to control, even those w well into phase on infusion cycles. Cold containment stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the met larger Metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue as malfunctions due to ice occur every day. Large predators in the waste are also a concern as they continue to kill personnel and breach secu secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without vastly inc increasing munitions and soldiers. Anything else here? Looks like I got them all. Oh. Astronomical uh, holographic projector currently deactivated. Currently not active. Get the spit. Yep. Okay. Get into morph ball mode for those. Holographic special schematic is in lockdown for security directive. Recording to logbook. Alright, Scans of the spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a Wanderer class planet identified from as Talon 4. Scout reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike. A land mass at heading mark 40.8.2, returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Hmm. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently Talon 4 appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Holographic map coordinate data has been updated successfully. Alright. Phase on mining is underway, several garrisons have been established, and terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational, and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fendrana Drifts has driven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base in Starport. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance in this sector with a deca within a deca cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. It's been used, but it's been shut itself down. Oh, more, there's more up here. Over another astronomical holographic projector is retracted. Inactive. Okay. I need to be manually retort. Using smears at the base of the projector to move them into place. Alright.
Plant Talon 4, mass 5.1 trillion tetratons. Profile ecosystem studies indicate Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to the exposure to phazon radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class th 13 wasteland approximately 25 years. Twin tabula, 4.1 trillion teratons. The plant is best known for twin fever, a disease caused by viral strain of native to twin tabula. In the early stages of the disease, the victims suffer from double vision. Oh, my throat is really sore. <coughs> when the twin sight fades, the victim is near death. Plant Ormine 2, 2.3 trillion teratons. An uninhabitable wasteland salvaged by nuclear dust storms and constant seismic upheavals. Planet Zebus. <coughs> 4 point eight trillion teratons. Planet's crust is primarily earthic ore, making it ideal for training construction in class. Ah, nineteen. Planet Zebus is, an, is inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became base for space pirate forces. Billium. Quarantine. Atmosphere is rife of uh, materialis. A sentient gaseous global exterminator virus. Lower note of it. Lower note of it. Continue reading just fine. Since my throat seems like I probably got it. Like I got a cold. Always great. I just can't scan the sun. I think I got all the planets. Ah. Please. Thank you. Checking because I could see the door that's over here too. I'm gonna try to get all of them. <laughs> that one because I was in front of it. Oh, safe station. Oh, nice. Thank you.